The Routledge Encyclopedia of Modernism is the largest and most comprehensive resource available for all those involved in the study of modernism, featuring over 2,000 entries. In this video, we are going to present a tour of the encyclopedia and highlight ways to use REM. First, let's take a closer look at the homepage. You'll see three menus divided into the categories Subjects, Movements, Places. Click on any of the links in these sections to browse articles in that category. For instance, Literature will display all articles we have related to that topic. The next section of the homepage shows the most read articles and articles published most recently. Although REM is sold by subscription, the article abstract, short version, for all articles is available for free, as are older versions of revised or replaced articles. In addition, we make a selection of newly published articles free each update. Now we will cover the different ways to access articles on REM. REM has both browse and search options. To search for an article, simply type keywords in the search bar. Here's an example of a search. All articles related to the search term abstract expressionism appear on the screen. The overview article on the topic appears first. Users can also access articles via browse. You can sort by subjects, movements, and places. For example, selecting visual arts will enable you to see all of the articles in REM related to this subject. Now, let's take a closer look at REM's articles. Here is the overview article on cubism. You might notice the unlocked symbol next to the article. This indicates that all users, whether they subscribe or not, can view the full text of the article for free. All of REM's 29 overview articles, covering major topics in modernism, are always available for free to the public. All articles in REM contain an abstract. Regardless of whether the full text of the article is free, the article summary will always be available to non-subscribers. For instance, when I click on Mondrian, Pete, I can read the article summary, even though I am not logged in. At the bottom of the screen, you can see a list of related articles and related search terms. You may click these links to search for the term or visit other articles. On the right-hand side are share buttons. Save, cite, and print buttons are at the end of the article. The further reading section contains a list of sources related to topic. Besides overview articles, REM also has biographical and thematic articles. We will now have a look at the biographical article on Henri Matisse. When an article has been recently revised, it is indicated in the search results and article view. The layout of all articles in REM is similar, but note that we are currently reviewing a revised and expanded version. This version is locked to non-subscribers, but we can still view the article abstract. When we publish a new version of an article on REM, we also make the previous version available for free to all. Now I will log in to show how REM is different for subscribers. After you log in with institutional credentials, all versions of the article are unlocked. This article has a number of in-text citations. These are linked to the references and further reading. Users may click these links to go directly to the source in the references and further reading. Subscribers also have the option to create personal accounts. Users with personal accounts have the ability to save articles and overviews to their profile for easy access and reference. To save an article, simply click the star on the left-hand side of the title. A blue star indicates that an article has been saved. Articles can be saved from the search results as well. Saved articles are accessible through the user account menu at the top of the page under saved items. Now we will look at some of the other features in REM. At the top of every page on REM, next to browse, there are also about, what's new, librarians, free trial, take a tour, and help links. REM has a number of dedicated menu pages with more information about the history, editorial board, and frequently asked questions. These pages, available for free to all, are likely of interest to those wanting to learn more about the encyclopedia. About REM is for those desiring an overview of the resource. What's New lists the most recently published articles in REM, along with a selection of featured articles we have made available for free. 
back on the menu bar, Librarians contains information on MARC records, usage, authentication options, and promotional materials for librarians to use in their institution. Free trial is where you can request a trial for your institution. Finally, Help contains more detailed information on navigating and using REM for those who are interested. This concludes our tour of REM. Be sure to check the What's New page to find out the latest in the encyclopedia.